Hey, what's up, Six Pack Abs? It's Christian McClure here with Mike Zhang, the North American Muay Thai Champion. And today we're gonna talk about how to throw the perfect punch in a science-based way to knock your opponent out. Now, Mike Zhang, we do not want to be utilizing this for any sort of offensive purposes, right? This is only for self-defense, is that right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. No one should ever go out there looking for a fight because it's very dangerous. We're all only human. The person that you're trying to attack could have a weapon and you can be charged. It's just an insane way to live. You should never do it. This is only for either sport or self-defense. Okay. Uh, keep your hand more relaxed. I can feel it, right? Yeah. I've never been in a fight before. I don't fight, you know, but it would be easy to throw a punch, right? Yeah, so the problem with that is it's, the best comparison I make is with golf, right? Like when you really try to think about using your whole power, all your power to try to hit the ball, you end up not hitting it, right? In right. reality, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's the same thing with a punch. A lot of people, especially people who have never thrown a punch, they think that they're gonna all of a sudden, um, you know, throw this huge punch and put all their, this power into it. When in reality, if you actually let them punch something, you know, um, seven out of 10 times, they're gonna miss the target, first of all. And then when they do land, there's very little power behind it because you're not using the right mechanics. You're not using the right movements that their body should Got be it. using. Okay, so you're gonna teach me how to throw the perfect punch now, right? Let's do it. Okay, let's get into it. So, what does it mean to get knocked out? Well, in our bodies, our brains are there to protect us. When you do anything that's potentially harming your body, your body will naturally protect you. So one of the things that it does is when you get hit in the jaw here, it sends a signal to your brain, shocking your brain. The reason why it's really important is when you get hit in the chin, because it's so far away from your head here, it's creating a perfect lever. So your head might move all of a sudden back like this. The brain inside of the skull will basically um, get pressed up against the back of your skull and it's gonna fire off massive amounts of neurotransmitters. This is gonna to signal to your brain that something's wrong, that your body is doing something that you shouldn't be doing. So what it does is it shuts you off. Now, this isn't related to how much pain you can handle or how tough you are. It's a defensive mechanism of your body. So there's really nothing you can do around it. You can strengthen your neck muscles to brace your chin, but when you get hit in the chin and it rattles your head, you really can't do anything about it. Your body will shut you down. Now, this is a good thing because it's really there to defend you. However, when you're in a street fight or even in the ring, when that happens, you're basically uh, losing control of your body, which is why you watch some of the UFC fighters or boxers, and when they get clipped in the jaw, you just see their whole body collapsing. That's what happens. Here are the four things that you need to look out for when you wanna knock someone out with a straight right. Number one, you wanna aim for their chin. Remember, we talked about the chin being the button, so you wanna push that button with your straight, with your right. So what I want you to do is bring your right foot back, about one big step, your right foot, yep, and then you angle your body towards the side. Perfect, yeah. Hands a little bit closer in together. Good. This is called the ready position. Now, this position will allow him to be stable on his ground, and when he throws a punch, he's gonna be grounded, so he's gonna have more power. Because the power of a punch actually comes from your legs. It's the ability to generate force by using your lower body, transferring through your core, and shooting it out of your arms. So, when you're throwing a punch, you wanna really think about engaging your whole body. Next, you wanna punch in a straight line. Yep. The fastest way between two points is a straight line. So when you throw a punch, I don't want you to throw like this, right? I want you to throw a perfect straight cross. And the way you're gonna do that is keeping your elbow tucked and you're gonna pivot your right shoulder and your right foot at the same time as you bring your left shoulder back. So you're gonna really try to turn your body, your upper body, as if there's a pull down your spine. So what you're gonna do, Christian, is just shoot the straight right out, extend the cross three quarters of the way out, yep, and then flip your hand just at the very end. So you're gonna go from here, Bring it out three quarters of the way, elbow still down, and at the very end, snap everything in place, bring your left shoulder back. Got so let's try it once. Boom, good. I want you to stay up a little taller. Just throw the cross and leave it out. Boom, so I want you to end up in this perfect, this position here. Great. In this position here, Christian's protecting his chin with his other hand. You're gonna tuck your chin so your shoulder is protecting it on the other side, and he's gonna look straight at my chin and punch here. If you're at home and you're watching, you, you're noticing that Christian here is pivoting with his rear foot, driving forward with his hip, and turning his right shoulder all the way out. These are the three metrics that you're looking for. Pivoting on the rear foot, pivoting on the hip, pivoting with the shoulder, and also the fourth one is the left shoulder is back. So this way he's generating power from his entire body, bringing it up through his body and transferring out his hand. And at the end, you're gonna punch like this, you're gonna tuck your chin, and you look, you're gonna look straight down what we call the pipe, which is here. And then you're gonna land, boom, right here. Boom. Right again, boom, 
Again. Good. I want you to, you're leaning up just a little bit. So remember, there's a pull down your spine. Right. You can only turn into it. Ready? Again. Boom. Good. One more. Boom. One more. So once again, the four things that you want to look out for is number one, you want to look at your opponent's chin. Two is you want to use your entire body. So you're going to be turning with your shoulder, you're going to be pivoting with your hip, and you're going to be pivoting with your foot, keeping your elbow in until three quarters of the way out and then flipping it at the very end. And that's how you have it. Great, thank you very much, Mike Zhang. So now that you have the exact position and the four ways to knock out your opponent, you can defend yourself in a terrible situation. Thank you very much, Mike Zhang, for your time. I appreciate you, brother. And yeah, just take care of yourself. Keep it locked in here at Six Pack App. Subscribe for more Mike Zhang videos and some more fitness tips. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.